Good afternoon. It's uh, October 1st, 2013, and lo and behold, the nozzle now fits inside my boiler combust combustion chamber. Now, for what it's worth, it took me conservatively four and a half hours of grinding to get that uh, ceramic nozzle to fit in my boiler, which to me is ludicrous. It was that far off. I, I went through four quality grinding wheels and it just seemed like it wasn't going to fit and I just kept grinding and grinding and grinding. And again, after four and a half hours, I got it to, it's a nice fit now. I mean, it, it, I hardly need any refractory cement. It, it fits that well. Now, you'd think I'd be a, a happy camper. But I got thinking about it, and I wanted to do some checking. And for whatever reason, the holes that were cast into the side of this new nozzle are not in the same location as the holes in the original nozzle. Why? I don't know. They're off by about a half an inch. And I'll show you what that does here in a second. After I saw the difference in size between the new nozzle and the old nozzle, I wanted to do some more investigation and make sure that these these secondary holes here lined up with the boiler. So what I did was I took a little dowel and I put a, a piece of foam from a foam paintbrush and I tacked it on the end of there, dipped it in the, some white paint, put this in, slid this back in there, put the nozzle in, then pressed this up against the side of the stove. I did that for all four holes. Now, I've, I've made a little, there's an L right here, because the way this is ground now, uh, there is a left and a right. Now, as it turns out, the holes on the left side of the boiler match up with the refractory cement that was cast in the stove. The holes on the right side of the stove and the uh, nozzle uh, mismatch. And I'll show you that here in a second. Okay, I've got a mirror down here, and, and it's just so tight, it's, it's difficult to work. But again, I, I took that little dowel with the, the spongy paint on the end of it, and I pushed it up against the side of the stove. And as you can see, it's almost a complete mismatch. So I, if I left it like that, air would blow in up against the side of the new nozzle, and it wouldn't go anywhere. I mean, a little bit would bleed in there, but not much and this one was a little better but again 50% loss of airflow. Now as bad as that is I could correct that pretty easy. I'm back over at my nozzle here now. And what I did was I took a diamond bit grinder and I, I made like a funnel shape here. I elongated this hole so now when it goes in there again this hole is too far this way this way. So I, I ground back here and it will act like a funnel and direct the air into the uh, inside of the nozzle inside the combustion chamber and I did that for both of these holes. It's not a perfect fix um, and it would be nice if it was a direct shot into the combustion area, but uh, I think this will work. I, I don't like it, but I don't have much choice. It's impossible to move those holes. And by the way, this here, these have uh, stainless steel needles all through this thing, and this is hard. I mean, it's just unbelievably hard. As bad as the right side is, the left side is out of sight as far as being a problem. 
Now the holes in the refractory thing, again I'm using my little mirror here. I don't know if I can do this or not. Okay. Alright. The holes in the refractory cement here line up pretty good with the, the new novel. But if you, you see the white in there, I, I put paint on it. That is the metal tube from the fan that comes in and it's supposed to blow into the combustion area. Well that's 90% out of position. And again both holes are the same. Look, look at that one. I mean it's ridiculous. How can anybody let anything like that out of a factory? I, I mean there's no quality control, there's no inspection. It's just slapped together and send it out the door. So what I'm going to do is I, I went and bought a die grinder and I'm going to actually try to grind out that metal tube so there I can get more air into the, uh, the nozzle. And again, this is not easy. This is just four inches across here and I can barely get the die grinder in there with a bit. But that, that's what I'm going to try. and. Whether I can do it or not, I don't know. It's going to take some time. And I mean, right now I've got so many other things to do. I really didn't want to get in this, into this level of uh, retrofit. So that's part two. And uh, wish me luck. Take care.